When the Portland Milwaukee Light Rail Transit Project opens in September of 2015, TriMet's MAC system will grow to a total of 60 miles and 97 stations. To supply electricity to the MAX trains, TriMet uses an overhead catenary wire system. 497 OCS poles will be installed on the project and the wire will be installed in 40 separate wire runs. Those 40 wire runs have about 66,600 feet of wire, uh, 12 and a half miles uh, in total. Power is supplied by Portland General Electric and Pacificor to the MAX substations spaced approximately one mile apart along each light rail route. Substations take the incoming power at approximately 12,000 volts of alternating current and rectify it to 750 volts, direct current to power the overhead line, which delivers power to the trains. The MAX trains are powered electrically, uh, which is a more efficient way to provide power to the, to the vehicles and uh, ultimately results in a lower cost per boarding ride. The Type 2, 3, and 4 trains also have regenerative braking uh, to increase efficiency and that means that during braking the train converts that braking energy into electric power which is sent back in the overhead for other trains to use in the area. Uh, if there are no trains in the area that, uh, that energy is then dissipated as heat. The Tacoma Johnson Creek station will include a energy, a wayside energy storage system, which is uh, designed to capture the regenerative power uh, provided by the trains to the overhead line. This power is then stored in supercapacitors and held until needed by a train in the area. Uh, so none of the power is dissipated as heat. Uh, the system is uh, built and installed by Siemens and will be the first such installation in uh, North America. As a safety reminder, always maintain a clearance of at least 10 feet from the overhead contact system wires. The Portland Milwaukee Light Rail Transit Project opens for service on September 12, 2015. For more information, visit trimet.org/pm.